we have our final rock star guest joining us. And Richard, you know Winnie, right? You sort of communicated with her before. Also, we've had a number of social media handshakes, so I'm so excited that she'll be joining us. Excellent. Well, I'm excited to introduce Winnie Sun. She is the founding partner and managing director of Sun Group Wealth Partners. Now, Winnie is also a Forbes contributor, and she sits on the CNBC Digital Financial Advisor Council. So let's bring Winnie in. Hello, hello, my friends. How are you? Oh, let, me, um, so well, Winnie. let me move over for you because I can see. <laughs> I know, I'm constantly trying to get myself centered. <laughs> well, now you get to officially meet Richard. It's not just a social media handshake. <laughs> hello, Richard. Huge Hi. hello to you. How are well, you? It's great to have you with us because you come with uh, not only your social perspective and as a financial advisor, but somebody who's in the media, your media personality. And you know what we've been doing, a little Q&A with our special guests. So Richard has the first question for you. And Winnie, I've had the opportunity to watch some of your live streams and some of your interviews. So it's such a pleasure to meet you. And given that you're on TV and other different media outlets, what do you consider to be your ethical responsibility or someone's ethical responsibility as such a popular and well-known talking head, so to speak? Well, Richard, that's so kind of you to say. I think you know, being on television or being on video, you're right. We have a responsibility. We have an opportunity to use the platform for good, not only to share our messaging and what we do and what we like to uh, ex you know, grow our business, but it's an opportunity to share something of value so that if you know one of my kids, maybe my seven-year-old walks into the room or your, or your parent walks into the room, that whatever we're sharing is something of value and also appropriate and dignified and respectful. And I think uh, we need more of that in media. And, and so I'm grateful to be a part of this. Oh, that it's so true. I mean, I always said that it was um, the mother or the grandmother test. <laughs> whatever you put out there, whatever you say, your mom and mom, I hope you're on this broadcast now. Uh, <laughs> you taught me well that whatever you share should make your mother or parents or grandparents proud. That is really true. Winnie, I find um, in media, and I, I too go out and do interviews, certainly not as much as you do, but I also have a show, Women Worldwide, just like you have your show, Level Up. What do you do when you're being interviewed and somebody is just trying to pull something out of you and you know that you're, you're not able to share that? So maybe you could kind of give us some tips about that. So, Judy, that's a great question, and it's something that I think when you first start off, you feel like you need to answer every question, and it might put you in a pickle. And Sheila had mentioned right before uh, I got on here the, the issue of compliance, right? So in my industry, there are certain things I can and cannot say. Fortunately, as you know, I have an amazing publicist <laughs> who sets the groundwork uh, usually before I even get on. However, that being said, you know, we always have a choice on what comes out of our mouths. And so, you know, you can share positivity, you can share value, but if it's something that isn't acceptable or isn't appropriate, um, and isn't something that you're going to be proud of hearing yourself play back or get quoted on, you just don't say it. You answer the question in the way that you want to answer the question. And for, for better or worse, I think we all, like, I, I heard both of you talk about this, of having that North Star. You know where you stand. And uh, no one show or one appearance uh, should take that away from you, right? Your integrity needs to be rock solid, and that should be your consistency. Absolutely. Richard, I'm actually going to ask you a question about this, because when you first started interviewing, I'm sure there were questions that you didn't want to be asked and you had responses and, and a way to kind of move forward. 
Did you find that that was happening? I did, but and when you played that introductory video, it reminded me of some of those early interviews on CCTV, on Al Jazeera, on CNBC. And, you know, part of it, and we share this in some of our media training, Deirdre, is it's okay not to know. Right. Right. And sometimes someone can throw you a curveball, to use a U.S. analogy, where they're trying to throw you off a little bit. And one of the things that I've learned to embrace is I'm not the best person to answer that question. You might want to talk to X, Y, and Z, who is really, really knowledgeable in that area. And I really learned to embrace that it's better to say, yeah, I might not be the best person for that, than try to wing it. Better mm -hmm. not be on TV than just, you know, go for it. And one of the things that Deirdre gave me an appreciation for is a lot of the producers and journalists, I've been interviewed in the Financial Times and the New York Times, they are a lot more willing, if you put the effort in, to talk to them and to understand what their approach is to a particular interview, what they're thinking about, maybe to do some reading, look at what's been going on in that subject matter area before the interview, so you're well prepared. But the worst thing to do is just to try to, to wing it if you're not sure and if they're asking you a question that you find inappropriate, there's always polite ways of responding and then pivoting to something positive that you are there to talk about. That's right, the pivot. <laughs> it's the know you're in uncomfortable territory, move to more comfortable and then redirect. That's that pivot that's so important. Well, Winnie, any Final thoughts, because we're actually at the top of the hour and we can bring everybody in for Q&A, but I, I want to give you any parting thoughts about media interviews or anything that you want to share. Uh, I, I, I mean, I just, I love the topic. I think it's really important. I think it's really relevant. We need more of this. We need to think about this and, and, and take our platforms with responsibility and, and and take it in a direction that I think will benefit not only us today, but our children and the next generation as well. Um, so I'm glad we're having this conversation because I think there's just going to be more mediums of communication. So we might as well start to get really good at it. <laughs> well, thank you. And, and well said.